Welcome to all of you all over the world. It is, of course, a fixture that needs no introduction. It is, without doubt, the ultimate game the continent has to give us, the final of Euro 2020. This competition has been one of change, one of many firsts, a new qualifying format, venues across the continent, no single host country, and I'm sure the debates about the success or otherwise of it will start as soon as the whistle has gone. Perhaps those debates already have, but one thing has never changed, and that is the fact that football keeps bringing us back for the very same reasons. These championships have again served the game well as a showcase for the best that it has to offer, perhaps helped in no small part by those changes which we have been witnessing. So let us hope it gets a fitting final. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Well, for the players on both sides, this is their date with destiny, a chance to ensure their place in football history. It is, without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer. And the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude. And, yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Hoists it high. Bellucci is there, and he can get that clear. be a throw in not much subtlety he's launched himself there Kane oh that's nice going for goal Marco Verratti Berardi It into the middle. It's a brilliant interception. Out towards the flank. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Pressure stays on, it is a corner. Tries to get it clear. Marco Verratti. And it's played forward. Just the keeper to beat! He's had a shot! Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. 
cut out in the nick of time. Let down by a lack of accuracy. It's a promising ball. Kane plays it back. Jorginho gets it away. Berardi gets it back. He's pinged one through here. Maguire. Still goalless. Phillips. Uh, needed a better pass there. Spinazzola. Benucci. Marco Verratti. Spinazzola. Marco Verratti. And it's Jorginho. Over to the left. Spinazzola. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Chiellini. And here's Immobile. Out to the left it goes. Insigne crosses into the box. Forward it goes. Sterling floats one over. And you can get that clear. The referee's given a throw. Shaw. England have a free kick. So, another set play. And a great opportunity to open the scoring here. Brilliant save from Tonaruma! That's a fine save. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Breaks on here. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Now it's Kane. Berardi really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. What a ball! And Sterling! And it's a goal! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. England are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. England take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. And there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. At the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim, how's it looking for you? England have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dress group at half-time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. England are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Forward.
good checking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Well, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. And here's Immobile. Sancho, and now they can launch a counter. Spinazzola. Jorginho plays it forward. Immobile! Oh, bang on target. Immobile almost put aside ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. As he picks him out, striding forward, hits one! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Danger averted for now. Spinazzola. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Chiesa. Here's a clever pass. Lorenzo Insigne. It's come loose. Insigne. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. That's not going to make it. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Jorginho tries to get it forward quickly. That's a throw. A heavy challenge. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Played into space out wide. Well, that's where he wants it. He came in hard, very hard. Marco Verratti simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Hoists it forward. Chiesa, Chiesa plays it in. Keep calm and carry on, that's the job in a nutshell now. Chiesa tries a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Italy were again presented with an opportunity to break. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And here's Kane. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Trippier battles to win it back. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still... Shut it goal! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too.
So that's two now without reply. Chiellini tries to get it forward quickly. He's through the middle. Uh, ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. He's through. Now it's Sterling. Good take, and he's had a look. And he's cut it out. Berati drives it forward. Italy get it back again. Nicely measured pass. Benucci. And there goes the final whistle. England celebrate. They are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.